Okay, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is uh, what's well, Wednesday, August, September the fourth, twenty twenty one, and I just downloaded all my data files. Now I'm come back over and update the database, and then get on with the show. And of course, before we get started, uh, uh, of course, I have a, a request that's that you click on that share button. Copy and paste the link to this video into an email or text message. You can also click on the share button and share it on Facebook and Twitter. Anyway, a big shout out to the what the uh, to the four people who watched this video from the U.S. yesterday. Thanks so much for those four views. I really do appreciate all four of them. Of course, did I mention, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let's take a look here. We're currently at 237 subscribers. Our goal is 240 by Sunday evening. So we need to find, you need to find three more of your friends to come join in the fun, subscribe to the Care with Data Science channel on YouTube. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's update the first database. Let's go and run this. Mm -hmm. This will take a minute to, then we'll move on to, uh, on to uh, our COVID 19 analysis, the analysis for the United States. Okay. Okay, now let's come back up here. Update the All World and Data database. Run this. Uh, just a quick plot there. Okay, good. Okay, that concludes uh, the database update portion. Now let's move on to our actual daily files, daily reports. Let's start. Let's do things backwards. Let's start with the U.S. today. So I'm doing something a little different here now. Uh, we start out with the full data set, but then we immediately move on uh, comparing 2021 numbers to uh, 2020 to 2021 numbers. Then we go. Then we're only looking at a 12-month rolling report, so we're only going back as far as uh, July 2020. Okay, so let's just run the report, see exactly what it looks like. Of course, did I mention? You know, don't forget to click that subscribe button, click the like button. Click the share button. Share this video with your friends and family on Facebook and Twitter today. Thank you. Okay. Let's just see exactly what's going on here with the U.S. today. So you can see since January of 2020, we've had 35 million 
COVID-19 cases. Now, were those are, were those are confirmed cases or reported cases is, is another question. 614,000 deaths. Well, the trouble is that that's 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 since the beginning. And here's the thing that's interesting. If we look back over here, you can see for cases that during uh, during 2020 the trend was upward. Okay, the trend was upward, particularly. Uh, but it, but while in 2021, for the first part up to up to say July. We had, we had almost, a, almost a mirror image with this declining pattern. Now we're seeing this uh, spike here, which is a bit of a concern. Of course, on the other hand, the question of the vaccine is what? Does the vaccine keep you from getting the disease or does it keep you from dying from the disease? So, so we, could, we could very continue to see an increase in cases, but as you see here, a decline in deaths. You can see here that the pattern for deaths in 2020 was, was upward. Yet in 2021, the pattern is down. A complete flip-flop. Okay? Keep this, keep this declining pattern in line for deaths. Okay, very important. Again, here you can see the spike up. But you know, here it's up, it's up to uh, 194,000 for a single day. Done on a uh, August 8th, it drops back down to 25,000, okay? So what's the correct answer? What is the daily number? How can we have this constant daily fluctuation this much? Well, let's take a look at the, at the, at the, uh, at the seven-day moving average for July the 27th. For July 24th, we were averaging uh, 73,660 cases. But again, if the vaccine's working, this number can still go up. And this, but the, and this is why we don't want to get misled by the news media into worrying about cases. Okay, declining pattern here in deaths. This is the most important number. It appears it may be a slight ticking up here a little bit, but nonetheless, the deaths. For the seven-day period ending, uh, and then July 27th was 340 deaths on average for the previous seven days. This is 616. This is 71. Okay. So you have to be careful even here not to be too misled by this by this wild fluctuation in the numbers. Okay. The trend line is still our main our main point of focus. And it appears that right now deaths are starting to level out a little bit, following a long decline. Okay. Here's a question: If if we average you know 320 deaths per day for an entire year for for 12 months, how many deaths would that be? That's 116,000 deaths. Wait a second. That's that's less than half of the number of people who die per year of cancer or heart disease. This is why we have to be careful with the news media and make sure they're really giving us the numbers that give us the fullest picture. And that's what I'm about here. I'm about giving you the basic numbers to help you understand what is really going on in the U.S. with COVID-19 today, okay? Let's zoom on down. <clears throat> okay, you can see here the four-week four increase in cases. Yet, hopefully this week here is going to, be, is going to begin the new downward trend. This will, just, this will just prove to be a speed bump. What about deaths? Look at these deaths. This is 2,500 deaths for a week. Okay, but the rest, but this month here, this week here is going to be less than this week here, maybe less than these weeks over here for deaths. Okay, <clears throat> monthly cases, and again, here's the big numbers one, two, three, four, five, six months in a row now. America's seen a decline in COVID 19 deaths. 
Don't lose, you know, keep these, keep these numbers here for deaths. Uh, that's what I want you to focus on. Okay, that's what I want you, that's what we need to focus on. We need to stop worrying about cases or hospital beds. And only worry about beds because, because diseases where it's heart disease or cancer or whatever are always measured by deaths. And not only deaths, the deaths by year. Okay, meaning that on January 1st, the numbers that the count for cancer deaths is set back to zero, which isn't the way we're counting COVID-19. We're counting COVID-19 from, from the date of the first death back in March or back in February till today, which, of course, makes it look much worse than it really is. Right? <clears throat> so this plot here just gives us an idea of, <clears throat> excuse me, an idea of how many uh, of 100,000 people about, <clears throat> say, say, 25 to 30 people, of 100,000 people, 25 to 30 have COVID-19. But this is one half person, this line's a quarter person. So right now, less than one fourth of a person out of 100,000 is dying from COVID-19. And we can see the good news here, the flattening of the curve. We are seeing a slight move back up here, but hopefully that's, that's temporary. You can see here, we have seen a flattening of the curve, not as flat as we would hope, but nonetheless a flattening of the curve for COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. So America, that does conclude your report for today. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Click the like button. Most important of all, click on the share button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter today. Thanks so much for your time, America. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.